Hello, and thank you for being tuned in to Palace Sessions, episode number four. I am Jeff from EQX. We are thrilled to be a part of this. Be sure to share it with your friends, your family. Most importantly, share this with your enemies because you want to spread love on this planet. And that's what these sessions are all about, raising some money and love for the Palace Theater. Thank you so much to our partners, CDPHP, KeyBank, Albany.com, St. Peter's Health Partners, Mirth Films. Uh, so many people working hard to bring us these Palace sessions. Right now, we're going to have some fun with the incredible, edible, wild Adriatic. <laughs> saving for the door to a personal loan that feels genuinely personal the door to a bedroom for each of your teenagers the door to a new employee who's also your neighbor and the door to a happy and full life for you and everyone you know this year key bank has already opened over hundred and seventy thousand doors helping people get from where they were to where they wanted to be key bank opens doors in 2007, the Palace started a tradition of playing the following movies each year. Rocky Horror Picture Show, It's a Wonderful Life, Three Stooges Film Festival. And since we can't safely gather for concerts right now, let's be honest, the Palace is struggling. We need your help more than ever before. Your donation acts like a bridge to help the Palace Theater get to the other side of this difficult situation. Well, here we are in the, uh, in the section of the Palace Theater that only smokers know about. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Wild Adriatic with us, Travis, Rich, Dusty, and Mateo. 
Uh, this is Palace Sessions episode number four. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Oh, our absolute pleasure to be in any part of the palace, to be honest. Absolutely. <laughs> this is, uh, I guess, technically the third time you've performed at the Palace Theater. Most recently, we saw you here on Valentine's Night. Uh, and then you opened up for Flog and Molly yes. back in uh, the early 10s. 2012. Well, it was 2012. Yeah. And, uh, and so here you are for your third time now. Thank you for doing this as we try to raise money for the theater. Uh, I know as uh, basically all local, local guys, you've been here many, many times, not only performing, and you're not allowed to say, oh, our show in 2012 was the best. What, what are some of your favorite memories from here at the Palace? We'll start with, we'll start with Mateo. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, the first, the first show, sorry, I don't know how, I don't have to lean into it like this. Uh, the first show I ever <laughs> went to was Ben Folds 5 and Guster right here. It was so sick. That's awesome. Rich. Um, I so think sick. my first show ever here was Albany Symphony Orchestra doing Led Zeppelin. Did I ask first show or favorite memory? That was here? probably my my f like favorite. That was like you never forget. Your I had first. never yeah never seen anything like that done before, so I was like so into it. <laughs> Jewel. Oh, Jewel, I saw Jewel here. The most recent one that she did in the my holidays. My favorite concert was the Jewel concert with the Kilcher yeah, family kidding. band. Yeah. That, no, this was years ago. Oh. This is like when I was like 11 years old. He's just okay. agreeing to stuff. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm just trying to figure out. Uh, no, Jewel, I, Jewel, what a talent. When, uh, Jewel, when Jewel was really popping. Like, I was really young and we were kids, and Jewel was you know, flowing on the airwaves at the time. But Yeah. Yeah, cool. Dream <laughs> <Dusty>. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, I'd say it's a tie between when I saw uh, George Clinton and Jewel in Parliament. I thought the balcony was going to collapse. Everyone was stomping pretty hard. And uh, probably Trey and the Gordon Stone Band. Mm. Remember, yeah. that was the first time I saw Tony play live. Uh, rest, rest his soul. Yeah, Gordon that was an Stone. awesome show. Uh, and uh, to ensure that the balcony doesn't collapse here, please donate now. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you so much, everybody. Hi, I'm Dawn from the Victory Cafe. The Victory is located across from the Palace. It's 10 Sheridan Ave. We are offering 10% off October 28th, and we are very happy to be a part of the Palace session. We offer pub food, we have a dining room, we have outdoor cafe, and we have a pub area. We have pizza, wings, entrees, and appetizers. We would also like to thank the Palace for including us in the sessions. Thank you, and we hope to see you. The Palace was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1979. At the time, it cost $3 million to build this theater. It also is a nonprofit organization that offers free arts and education programs, an annual community block party, free family movies, and many other community focused programs.
I like playing uh, I like playing music with you guys. Rich, you're you're cool too. Manix Marketing is proud to help support artists, music, and performing arts venues, big and small. We have been helping millions of locals and visitors to find events, things to do, restaurants, and other lifestyle businesses on Albany.com, Saratoga.com, LakeGeorge.com, and Adirondack.net for over 20 years. These palace sessions are just what the community needs right now. Adriatic performing here at the Palace Theater for Palace Sessions episode number four. Uh, coming up on 10 years since you officially released your first EP, February 5th of 2011 was that year. So February 5th of this year will basically be a 10 year anniversary, a decade for the band. Congratulations. Thank you. I feel old. <laughs> <laughs> still sound and, and, and look great. Thank uh, you. Uh, it's great that you guys are here helping us raise money for the Palace Theater. And these sessions, these online sessions, I know you've all participated in one way or another on them, and we appreciate that. Um, and that's keeping us all entertained at home. But I've come to find out just personally, uh, we've run out of puzzles, we've run out of games. So who better to ask than a group of friends, musicians, who have spent a ton of time in a van touring back and forth across the country. I'm sure you've come up with some great games. Any you care to share with us? Yes. <laughs> Mustard hands. The mustard hands. Uh, you have one bottle of mustard in the van, you pass it around, and you either squirt mustard in your hand or you don't. 
and then everyone has to guess who's got mustard in their hand. <laughs> oh, <fun. laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's a lot of miles of boredom right, right now. Right over the plate. <laughs> mustard hands. Reminds me of a favorite joke, if I may, real quick. Yeah. Uh, what did the constipated hot dog say? What did he say? Mustard. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. Any uh, other games you want to share? The only one I've got is... Uh, Fall asleep for 10 hours straight in the back bench. <laughs> back bench. That's my game. Yeah.
Palace has been home to the Grammy Award-winning Albany Symphony Orchestra since 1966. Now, most people don't realize that the Palace is a nonprofit organization. The theater promotes a vibrant downtown and enhances quality of life for everyone throughout the capital region. <laughs> great crew here. We got, we got Frankie, we got Boney, we got some guy from EQX. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Oh, Shane, we got Shane over there. I couldn't see you behind the camera, buddy. What was this story? You guys were, uh, were unloading your gear and something about Dusty is quick on his feet, able to come up with what you think is a lie of him getting car sick so that he could have constant shotgun. <laughs> oh, he was saying 
Dustin always has to sit in the front because he gets so car sick, so he thinks he's full of it. Car sick. <laughs> because yeah. he wants shoddy. I mean, if I gotta prove it. I think he's like Bruce Willis and open. Unbreakable, where he's full of it because you know Bruce Willis just wants to live out his normal life and not play football anymore. Dustin just wants to sit in the front seat, and he's not gonna get car sick. He just wants to sit in the front seat. It's fine, Bruce Willis. Give me Kanye. Like we didn't hold back. Wild Adriatic Palace Sessions, episode number four. Thank you all so much. Uh, if you're able to contribute, we ask you do by we ask that you do by texting Palace 2020 to 44321. 
Uh, it's it's cool to see how you compare to friends and family members because uh, if you you guys have only been on the one side of it, I guess getting contributions. But if you if you contribute, uh, you can see what people did. Some people will do anonymous, and I think that's pretentious, even though it's anonymous. But <laughs> it's, it's fun to see. You know, oh, my cheap friend only gave five bucks. My cheap I friend. gave twenty five or whatever. You, you're you're nodding in approval. Yeah, I'm more of a two fifty guy. Two hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Damn it! I put, I put a period in there somewhere. Decimal point, whatever. Two dollars and fifty cents. But we, we appreciate uh, anything you can do to keep this beautiful theater. Nineteen thirty-one. They, you know, I like to. We, we have it tough now. We all know we do. But this building was built. Uh, the the Great Depression was going on, and there was still inspiration to beautiful work of art like this. Exactly. So hopefully we get more beautiful art out of these weird, weird times we have right now and conti continue to do stuff like this and then everyone can mask up and we can get back to playing actual shows here at the palace.
I'm going to pull the curtain back real quick uh, and let everybody know a little bit of what we get to see here as Mirth Films uh, does this and the bands perform. There's, there's no PA, which means there's, there's no speaker for the vocals, for the keyboards, things of that nature. So when you're live in the room, and it looks great at home, we hope you're enjoying it, but when, when you're live in the room, as a few of us are lucky enough to be, uh, it kind of seems like we're watching the live soundtrack to a silent film happening <laughs> because there's still the actual Rich is dancing and you're singing, you guys are singing and, and there's the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but uh, and I know you've been doing like karaoke sessions online. <laughs> have Can't. you ever thought about putting out all the Wild Adriatic uh, library karaoke style? I have put out like a couple of videos of just singing like without any music but Man, some of this stuff when I'm sifting through the audio, like mixing the live stuff, just like if you if you solo somebody's vocal mic, it's a pretty hilarious. We can make an album full of like weird stuff that's just us talking into the mic of Mateo sounds yeah. behind the drums. Is it going like, mine's like, Woo! Woo! <laughs> like that. It reminds me, it will keep the curtain open uh, to expose more behind the scenes here. It reminds me of a YouTube page that I came up with an idea with, and I think you guys have all poo-pooed it in the past. It's where it's just YouTube videos of a band setting up and the conversations that are happening between the band and the sound crew. We'd all get canceled. Yeah. <laughs> Immediately. Yeah. It's, it's rough stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so I want it to happen. No one that actually would get canceled wants to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> We'll find 
find another place to go And we'll laugh it off, baby We'll laugh it off oh, oh, oh. Cause I'm telling you Thank you guys so much. Thank, thank you. Chowder. Other suit. Is that a rap? <laughs> you gotta say it. That's a rap. Ah! Yeah!